He must have known people were saying this had to be the speech of his life. And he must have known he would face opposition and heckling. And he didn't have long so, to wait. So, 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 you see. Shouting slogans or changing lives conference. Sporadic heckling continued. They are meant to be showing him the red card, but the Labour leader settled into his speech. There was this description of Boris Johnson. I think he's a showman. He's a showman with nothing left to show. He's a trickster who's performed his one trick. Once he'd said the words, get Brexit done, his plan ran out. There were promises for more money for mental health and a commitment that a Labour government had to produce a strong economy to deliver social justice. And I can promise you now, under my leadership, Labour will be back in business. The name of Jeremy Corbyn wasn't mentioned, but the final message was clear. Under Keir Starmer, winning, not ideology, was back as the priority. In a few short years from now, I want to be here with you talking about the difference we're making, the problems we're fixing as a Labour government. There are clearly some in this hall who are not reconciled to this leader, but for the overwhelming majority, they've been eager to demonstrate their support for Keir Starmer and where he wants to take the party. I want to go out and campaign right now, and I goddamn wish we had some elections to fight. I think he's a man with such intelligence and such understanding of the world and what we all want. We're so lucky. But from those who'd interrupted him, a very different view. He talked about uniting the party. The party has never been so divided as it is now, and it's getting worse. You know, and I probably will be expelled, and that's sad, because I work bloody hard for this party. But he is in charge of the party now. He still has a long way to go, but it feels as if he has made a start.